Hello, my name is Krisha. I am 20 years old, and today I will be continuing the My Little Pony makeup series. Originally, as you guys all know, I didn't want to continue that series. I thought just doing the six girls would be fine. But always in like my little heart of hearts, I've always known that I wanted to continue it and do like the two princesses. Well, there are four, but the main the main squeezes. So today, or tonight really, um, we're gonna be doing the makeup of Princess Luna. Luna is the princess of the moon. She protects people's dreams from nightmares, which honestly I think is really freaking cool. So as you guys know in this, if you've seen the series before, there's a playlist. I'll, I'll link the playlist down below, but also if you just go to my channel and go to playlists, you'll see it. I usually do the girls' makeup as if they were doing it themselves, but I feel like I want to do, I feel like Luna would wear a very specific type of makeup. I think she would be more like me, where like if she were to go glam, she would go full glam, but definitely not every day. For Celestia, I'm gonna pull out all the stops, but for Luna, we're gonna keep it simple. And today, um, we're actually gonna be testing out the Tati Beauty Blendiful. Um, I have both of them. I think they're so freaking cute. I'm actually really excited because like I've never tried anything like this before, so I'm actually really excited. So let's get started. <laughs> these black with these iridescent sparkle headband ears. I have a gold one for Celestia, which I'm so excited to use. This will just help us keep our hair out of our face. Like, you know, what headbands are for. <laughs> so I'm gonna prime my face as always with the Milk Hydro Girl Primer and the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. I did um, nails for this. I'm actually really excited. I was thinking about doing Celestia and Luna when I originally started the series, but I changed my mind at last minute because I didn't think my looks were any good. And so now we're here. I'm gonna go in actually with the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I love this stuff. I haven't used this in a while. And this is actually really tough to put the Tati Beauty against. So I just did two pumps. So she said you can like go straight in with the sponge. I'm gonna take it on the little point. I'm gonna need to take one more pump. This is so weird. This is really, I think I should have, honestly, let me dot it on my face rather than go straight in with the sponge. I did not enjoy going straight in with the sponge or the puff. don't know if I'm a fan just yet. I think I have to use this a couple more times. I know like this would definitely work with my um, L'Oreal Infallible fresh wear, but like it's all personal. I think I have a good system where I, um, oh it's wet, that's why it's so shiny. But I first go in with a brush and brush everything on and then I go in with a sponge. That's a good system, like for me. And also, I didn't really give it the most forgiving foundation to start with. So now I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star uh, Magic Star Concealer, and this is in C5. Also, all of, if I don't mention any, all of the products I use and all of their shade names or whatever are in the description down below. keep her really pale without a lot of color in her face we're gonna go in with a very like cool tone brown to like contour and chisel out everything because I want to keep her very very um very fair and very colorless because she's more like Celestia is more the one with like the warm tones and the gold whereas Luna is very silver very light toned so we're gonna keep that pretty pale so I'm gonna flip the blendiful over and take the point from the other side and powder this down. So this is the base so far. Um, so now let's do brows. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade, shade, in the shade. 
soft brown and carve out my brows. I have a notch on this side and I'm gonna put a notch on this side so that you look like punk, I don't know. That is as good as it's gonna get. Because of the lighting, I can't really see. Oh my god, that's so much better. Now I see why all the beauty gurus do it like this. So now I'm going to wipe off the excess powder, do a spray of Fix Plus, or do, I think I'm just gonna do the Milky Mist just so I can get it out. And then we're gonna set the brow with the Essence Lash and Brow, Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. And then we're gonna go to eyeshadow. side and just use it to like press the spray into the skin. I can see myself using this now, but definitely not for all the ways like Tati said to use it. Like I'm definitely gonna use this as a powder puff because it was great to like incorporate the powder into the skin. But here's the thing, this is just my opinion. Other people hated this, other people loved this. I like, I'm just in between. It's not, whoa, my skin looks freaking snatched. So now I'm going to take the powder side again and put bake under my eyes. And I'm actually not gonna set this. If you leave it long enough, it'll dry on its own. So I'm just gonna try not to open my eyes too wide. So first I'm going to take the shade Parch from the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. This is just a, like a, my skin colored shade and set the top like near my brow just to like protect that because I want I don't want that to get any color. Then I'm going to take this shade Escape from the James Charles and Morphe palette. Pop off a lot of the excess and work that in the crease and up to where we just set the stuff. Then, and now the more concerning part, I'm going to take a more concentrated fluffy brush and in the Jeffree Star Blue palette, Blue Blood palette, I'm going to take the shade Undertaker and I'm going to start that on my lash line and work my way up into that, that purple. And I'm very scared, but we're going to start a little bit at a time. back into the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and take this shade Parched on a clean brush and just go over the edges just to help blend those. I'm gonna go back in and take the shade Undertaker and put that on my bottom lash line and then with the same giant fluffy brush blend it out. into the Thirsty Palette, take the shade Parched with the big fluffy brush and blend out the bottom. <sighs> so this is what we've got so far. Now I'm gonna wipe away the bake excess because I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop BFF Gel Cream Liner in the shade Kicker. It's the silver and put that on my waterline. I feel like this will like help me visualize a way out. Oh wow, yeah, all right. I'm feeling a little more confident now. It took three palettes and a meltdown, but we're there. So I have this Starlit Studio Purple Glitter, and just I'm gonna take a little dab of this and put a little bit on the lid itself. We are gonna put on rhinestones, but I thought this would be fun. So then what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna complete, we're gonna complete the rest of the face and then we're gonna go back in and finish the eyes because my eyes need a break. So I'm gonna do one more spray of the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. So now I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Bronze Dynasty because this is like really cool tone and I wanna keep it, I just wanna contour, I don't wanna bronze. So just to like chisel out the cheeks. You know what? No blush.
blush. No blush is happening. I have made my decision. So now from the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette, Blue Blood Palette, I'm gonna take the shade Cullinan, which is like a shiny white shade. And I'm going to put that on as highlight. I just want it to look like moonlight is shining down on her cheeks. And then just any excess, so I'll, as usual, put on my forehead and... Actually, no, I want it really light down my nose. Now let's go back and finish up the eyeballs. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and use the same shade Cullinan on the inner corner and brow bone. And just put a little bit of that in the notches because, you know... Why not? I am in love with this look. So I got these Swarovski um, crystals. They're like iridescent blue to purple and I felt like that would be perfect for this look. Um, do I know where to place them? Absolutely not. But um, I wanna figure it out and I wanna do it because I'm very excited. I'm gonna do one eye off of camera and then I'll come back and do the other one. Okay, so this is the gem look that I have come up with, like with the gemstones. Basically, I want it to be like wings coming out. I put, so I'm going to now glue on all of them. I use the Duo Lash Glue. I do have latex, but I do not have the patience to work with latex at the moment. And then after I put on the rhinestones, I'm going to put on the Ardell uh, Foam Mink 3D Lashes in 854. They're these like really nice, they're not too big, but they're like big and fluttery and all that. And then I think we're going to be almost done with this look, which was awesome because I'm tired and I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I mainly do like a couple dots at a time, otherwise they'll all dry up. And then I just take my finger and I lick it and then I put on the gemstone and these I got at Hobby Lobby for really cheap. I wanted little stars originally, but they did not have the little stars I wanted. So we are we are making do. And if one doesn't work out, like that one just said it left like a little little hole, that's okay. Um, I wait for the lash glue to dry, then I go in with a little shadow, and then I go back in with the glue. Wow. Oh my god, this, this look is amazing. Oh, but what I didn't say is that the mascara I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. If you've been here, if you did not know I was going to use that, that's how we know you're new here. For lips, I used the MAC, I first used the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Sand Nudes, and then I used the MAC Lipstick in Angel. And I'm not going to use setting spray because it's late at night and I don't have to go anywhere, but if I were, I would use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that's it. That is my Princess Luna inspired look. I might change the lip just to see but i don't know if you'll see in pictures thank you so much for watching this video um i'm gonna be coming out with a lot of content because i'm gonna be very bored during the lockdown if you guys like this video oh let me i forgot to get out my costume all right if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys like me please subscribe we have a great family here, and I'm going to put out, probably next Monday, the video of me doing Celestia. Alright, thank you so much. Bye!